let's go for one shot thought number three in a row because why not if i'll release these videos after like whatever and uh actually have some content on my channel again the next point on this thingy just going down was silence for safety's sake which is highly related to having to face the real world while it's not safe to in other words the people you know you will be around silence for safety's sake i did write something on facebook like an actual written thing said uh, one shot thought signs and symptoms of adhd <clears throat> uh silence for safety's sake i wrote a thing about that describing it because this is a huge thing for adhd that i didn't necessarily realize was a huge thing until i really started thinking about it there are times when um if, a, if an ADHD person is silent, sometimes it's out of safety's sake for them and or everybody around them. Because it's not like we're like a dangerous person or something like that. But it's like because our brain is so busy and so disconnected from the world around us right now. Because like say if I'm at home and I'm watching something really emotional in my show. And all of a sudden like I did not get the timing of time correctly. Which is another thing ADHD people have serious issues with is keeping track of time but that's a different topic so don't get me sidetracked um and i don't realize how close it is or i don't want to stop because like i didn't realize my show was going to get that exciting or, or emotional or whatnot but if it gets super impactful and all of a sudden all of me is like completely engaged with the show but enough of me realizes i'm going to get fired if i don't leave for work right now because i'm going to be late so i get up and i go to work but everything like, if you're going to go 100% of your brain, like, 97% of my brain is still 100% focused on what I was in the middle of doing. So I'm only functioning on, like, 2% of my brain or 3% of my brain right now. And I'm like, I have to drive to work without hitting anybody, without causing any accidents. So I have to absolutely, not a word, even if I'm the only one in the car, I might even have to tear my music off. Sometimes the music helps because it, like, it stimulates the... Uh, whatever uh, whereas other times it'll be worse dumb cats and make things worse because then I'll be focusing on even more stuff but um, I have to, to, to not hit anybody while I'm driving down the road even though it only takes me two and a half minutes to drive to work now and then I get to work and I have to walk inside and I have to fill out paperwork and I have to like get my temperature taken and I have to go and change my clothes and I have to go into the kitchen and then I have to start using knives to chop up vegetables and uh, walk around in a kitchen where people are like using hot stuff and all kinds of stuff and I have to do things that are potentially dangerous on any day if someone trips or whatever but then try to do it on day when like 97% of your brain is gone so yeah while I'm chopping those vegetables I'm like can't say anything because if I start a topic people are already all of a sudden talking around me and I'm working on 3% of my brain, and people are talking around me about all kinds of different topics, and I'm handling a knife to chop up vegetables and whatnot. This was an actual scenario. The one day I went to work and this was happening, I, like, had to chop up the carrots. And I couldn't contribute to the conversation because my brain was just not here, and I'm using a knife. And then I have to go and do something else, and I completely forgot to do something. Okay, I kind of regularly forget to do that. Um, but anyway, it's, like, simple things, parts of my jobs, and then, like, Oh, maybe that anyway um and then i'm like filling up jugs of water and like I, I, I move the cart and and one of them falls off and spills everywhere because i'm so distracted and then later on i'm like doing something in my book and i turn and it knocks a whole cup of star a whole stack of pirate styrofoam cups onto the floor it like asked it lasted for hours that i only had like three percent of my brain like it just was not there and i was trying so hard to get myself focused on work and i couldn't do it because my brain just was not there. I couldn't let go of what was happening before I came to work. So silence for safety's sake. It often happens where, where like, I mean, it it's very easily happens where if I'm not saying anything, there's, like, at least two reasons why I not, might not be talking. And one of them is silence for safety's sake. And the reason that it's having to face the real world when it's not safe to is because that's happened before, too. Where I'm not here, I'm gone. So it's like I feel like I'm exposed because I'm not aware of everything that's happening around me. And then when I have to go to work is the example. When I have to go to work and I'm working with people that I don't fully, completely trust. Because I don't like them for one or another reason. 
Like, there's many different reasons why I might not like someone or might not completely trust them or, or whatever. I just don't connect with them. I don't feel safe around them. I don't feel like I can be completely exposed and just be, like, off the wall where I'm not paying attention and I have no idea what I'm really saying or doing or something like that. And it's kind of frustrating and can be a little bit scary if I'm around certain people and I don't know what I'm going to do or say and then later on I won't remember it, but they will. And that's yeah frustrating and kind of scary having to face the real world well i'm not here and i know there's many different disorders and stuff like that 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 uh have this problem this dissociated problem um that but it is a, a sign and symptom of adhd as well so if that's the only symptom you have <laughs> look up what else it can be uh, an issue with and go talk to your doctor or something but uh, it is a sign and symptom of ADHD as well it is something that we struggle with I know I'm not the only one so once again it's over five minutes because once again that one's that that actually combined two points because they're kind of yeah so thanks for watching bye